Yo YouTube, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night, man. In today's video, we're gonna be diving into DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna be talking about a plugin called Dehancer. Dehancer is basically a plugin that will basically emulate a film look to the T. So that is what we're gonna be reviewing today. I'm just gonna show you guys how I use Dehancer in certain scenarios when I actually need to use this plugin. So, so let's head over to the computer and get started. <music> So I shot a video for an artist by the name of Monday Night and an artist by the name of Three Way Slim. Um, and their music is always, it always gives me like a more vintage vibe. So um, I use Dehancer for this uh, video in specific. So before I even put on Dehancer, the first thing I do before I do anything, I always do my uh, adjustments first, like my basic adjustments. Um, so I'll go to my lift first and then I bring my lift down. Bring that down so we can introduce some contrast because I did shoot this in C log three. So we're gonna bring our lift down and then we're gonna bring our gain up to get those details back in the highlights. And now what I'm gonna do, it's looking a little too cool for me. So I'm just gonna go to my temperature and adjust that. Bring my temp over just a little bit. That's looking good to me. All right, so those are our basic adjustments. And then I'm gonna make another node. Um, on Mac, it is all S to make another node. And I'm gonna label this node and I'm gonna label this blues. And then once I have that node labeled, I'm gonna go up to the color tab in the top uh, in the top bar, click on that and then go down to presets. And then I'm gonna click on this six vector blue. And what this is basically gonna do is it basically grabs all the blues that are in the clip. So if I go down to my hue versus hue and I wanna adjust my blues, bring up maybe the saturation of them, I can do that. I just click on the blue in the cyan uh, circle. And I just bring up the saturation, see. I usually like to push and then bring it back and see. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go to hue versus hue. Go to my blues, adjust that a little bit like that. <clears throat> so as you can see, I, uh, I moved it more towards a teal tone just because I think like a little bit more of a teal tone for blues look a little bit better to me. So I'm gonna go back to my first node and then I'm gonna make a point right here, here, right here, right here. And I'm just gonna bring those mid tones up just a little bit just to add some contrast into the mid tones. All right, that's looking dope to me. And then I'm gonna make another node and I'm gonna label this greens because I got those green trees in the background. And they may lie under yellow, but I'm just gonna um, select green and see how it's looking. So I'm gonna go to hue versus hue, go to my greens, select yellow. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring down the saturation of that. Actually, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna change this more towards like a, like a more greener green instead of yellow. So right there could be good. And then I'm gonna bring down that saturation again, like so. Then I'm gonna make another node for yellow, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rename this one. Um, it's actually caught. It's actually lying under the yellow. So I'm gonna name this one yellow, like that. And I'm gonna go to this node and label this green. And we're going to change the hue of this as well. Go up to color presets, six vector green. And then we're gonna go there. All right, cool. And don't get like, <clears throat> don't get scared of like the node uh, system because the nodes, the way I look at it is like, the nodes are pretty much adjustment layers. Like I edited in Premiere. Um, so nodes are basically just like, uh, like adjustment layers almost stacked on top of each other. It's just like a whole different system. So, all right, so now I'm gonna make my node for Dehancer, uh, Alt S, and then I'm gonna drag on Dehancer Pro. And as you can see that already like, altered our image like crazy. When you throw your effect on, you have all these effects in here. The first thing you see in here is the input, which is basically like your conversion LUTs and stuff like that. The first tab I usually come to is the film tab. And I like to use, I like to use all of these, but I, in specific, I use the 200T Kodak. I got a ton of different film stocks in here though. So that's like super, super clutch. So if I don't like a certain one, I could just find another one and stick to it. I really like the Ilford HP5 too. I like that one's pretty nice too. Ooh, I like the Cinestill. The Cinestill looks nice. Yeah, I love the Cinestill. That looks sick. Um, I usually like to pull sometimes for this scenario. Pull this a little bit to the right. Expand, I'm gonna bring my black point down just a little bit. Just so we can some contrast in there and then bring up my white point like so and then i'm gonna go back to my first node go back to temperature and just bring it more towards the warmer side and then go back to dehancer 
And I honestly, I don't use print to be honest with you. I usually just go down to film green and I just change the size of that. Film resolution, change that just a little bit. And I usually like to take some, some of the green out of the shadows just because typically shadows lie within like people. In this instance, Monday Night has a beard and glasses. So the uh, so bringing this shadow uh, t uh, slider down will basically like take, it'll have less grain in the shadows if you bring this down. So I usually, I typically like to do that. Um, I usually like to bring the shadows, the grain down for the shadows. And then the midtones, I like to bump that up. We'll do 71 for that. Highlights, bring that down just a little bit. And then you have your next tab, which is basically halation. Halation basically gives you like that bloomy type of glowy highlight look. So that is what I usually do. I usually turn on halation and bring up the source limiter just a little bit. I usually like, I, I like to zoom in too, just to see like what it's actually doing. Smoothness. I'm paying attention to this highlight on his shoulder right here too. We're gonna make sure you have it enabled. That's why I wasn't seeing anything. It's just super subtle, but it, it is like, it really makes your image look nice, so. And then I'm gonna go down to Bloom. Bloom is also like, gives you the bloom, the bloomy highlights and stuff like that. So I'm going to enable this. And as you can see, if I turn that off, you can see what that's doing. It looks epic, dude. I'm gonna bring down, just to see what it's doing. I'm already liking that, to be honest. That's looking dope, dude. Um, So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to vignette. So I like to bring my feather down all the way just to see what it's looking like. And then I'm gonna bring the size up like that and then feather it out more. I'm gonna bring that exposure down. All right, and then you have these two, two more effects, film breathe and gate weave. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really use these at all. I've never really used them actually, so. And then if you scroll down, you'll see you have false color, LUT generator. So this effect does pack a lot of dope stuff into it, man. If you guys wanna get an actual film look, like an actual accurate film look, Dehancer is definitely the way to go, man, because they have so many film stocks and they like are emulated to a T from the actual film stock, so. I recommend Dehancer for sure. I've been using them a ton because sometimes you may not have time to color a whole project uh, trying to get the film look when you can just easily throw on Dehancer. Do your basic adjustments first, obviously get the look that you're trying to go for and then drop on Dehancer and then boom, you have the film look, so. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you guys crush that like button. Drop me a comment down in the comment section and let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see from me, man, because I've been enjoying DaVinci um, personally, so. I wouldn't mind doing another tutorial on DaVinci. So make sure you guys click that notification bell to get notifications of when I upload to this channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.